I rehabbed a slap tear in both shoulders without surgery with workouts given to me by physical therapists for professional football players. And by managing my workouts volume, I was able to recover in 16 weeks and get back to doing my regular strength training. For the complete strategy I used, grab the Slap Tear Rehab Blueprint. It's free, click or tap the screen there to get it. In this six part series, I'm sharing the five variables we manipulated to rehab my slap tears fast. And today's video is all about workout volume. Volume basically means how much you're doing. And so we manipulate volume in three ways. First is the amount of reps you do in a set. Next is the amount of sets you do in a workout. And then finally, it's the amount of workouts that you do on the same muscle group in a week. Now most people think that after they've had a slap tear, if it hurts them when they try to work out, that they should stop working out and rest. But this is a terrible idea because it not only deconditions your body, but it makes you weaker all over. Continuing your slap tear rehab program is vital to get you back to doing what you love pain free. And a great way to be able to continue your workouts is simply by reducing the volume. So one way to do this, if your program tells you to do eight to 10 reps of a specific exercise, but you get to six reps and beyond that, you start to feel pain, simply do six reps. And if you can do all your sets of six reps without pain, then in the next workout, you can try for seven reps. And then in the next workout, eight reps. And you continue to use progressive overload like that until you get up to the required eight to 10 reps per set. And then you can consider increasing intensity or the amount of weight you're lifting. Another way that you can reduce volume is by reducing the total amount of sets. So if your program tells you to do three sets, but you feel pain in the third set, just do two sets. And then you can try doing three sets in the next week if you feel no pain. And finally, you can reduce the total number of workouts in a week. When it comes to slap tear rehab, some is always better than none. The idea that if your workouts cause you pain, you should stop is wrong. That's the all or nothing mentality. And that'll make your rehab take much longer and quite possibly be ineffective. If you need any help with any of these variables, just let us know. And to get the full strategy that I use, make sure you grab the Slap Tear Rehab Blueprint. It's free, just click or tap the screen to get it. The next video in this series, I'll be talking about tempo and how you can manipulate it to get through your workouts pain-free and continue on your rehab journey. I'll see you in that next video.